What's up everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to create a kick. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the click of the kick. And we're going to do that by turning on the noise. And we're going to choose one of any of these 64, like there's so many. Also, make sure to turn on the direct because uh, this will happen. And then you can just adjust the level or the volume of the kick attack. Next, we're going to turn on any of the oscillators and we're going to pull up a sine wave. So with this, we're going to shape the kick and kicks are typically short. So we're going to lower the sustain and we're going to shorten the kick. Now, this all depends on what type of kick you're making. So I'm going to lower the octave by three. And I'm going to take envelope one and drop it onto the course pitch. Now you can mess around with the course pitch, but I'm going to turn this into a straight kind of modulation and I'm going to put it up to 30%. So if I play the kick to you guys right now, it's going to sound a little bit like a kick, but we're not quite there yet. Next, we're going to turn on the distortion. We're going to select pre. Now, once again, this band right here is going to depend on what type of kick you're making so if you're making like a hip-hop millennium kick you know you can just cut the highs a little bit and let's go ahead and show you guys what i mean you get the idea but i'm going to make a house kick so i'm going to put it up to the high pass and i'm going to set this to about 60 and turn the drive up but don't turn up so much to the point where it sounds like this So after that, we're going to process our kick. And the first thing that we're going to do is adjust the transient. And if you guys don't know what the transient is, it's basically the initial sound of the instrument. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a compressor. And if you guys are using FL Studio, you can just use the transient processor right here. And all you have to do is turn up the attack to give it more punchiness or lower it to make it less punchy. But I'm going to be using Rough Rider, which is a free compressor. It's really good for a transient. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up the attack. I'm going to lower this to about two, if you, okay, there you go. And the ratio at four to one. And we're going to turn up the makeup. So for the processing, it's really just trial and error. You just got to try a bunch of things and see how it turns out and just keep messing with it until you get the sound that you want. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you might not get it down exactly how you want it the first time. But if you keep doing it, you'll eventually just get it. Next, I'm going to open up Maximus. And with this, I'm going to make it more punchy and bring out like low frequencies a little bit too so we're gonna solo the low band and let's have a listen and i'm not gonna compress it at all really all right so for the mid band you can really hear like the punchiness of the kick so if i play it to you guys it's really present so i'm going to bring this out a lot and that's pretty good and for the highs, it also has the click, but it's not as relevant. And just like that, we have the bands adjusted. And now we can just do some simple compression. So now we need to EQ the kick. And if you guys don't know what to boost or cut, you can get a reference kick. Just get any kick that you want and basically pull up a spectrum now. And if you play the kick, you'll see like exactly how loud each frequency range should be. So, so the highs are around 0 to 2 and the kick or the bass is around 3. So we're going to boost that like this. Let's go ahead and place this into the piano roll. And make sure you get like good pitch for your kick. Let's go ahead and boost it. Let's see. So this is a little bit too loud, so we can bring this down a little bit. And let's go ahead and boost right here. So 
So just like that, we EQ the kick, and if your kick is clipping, you can just put on a limiter, and it won't be clipping anymore. So if your kick has this extra noise at the end, then what you could do is just pull up a transient processor, and all you have to do is turn the release down, and it will get rid of that extra noise. You could probably do it in Rough Rider or any compressor as well with the release knob and just turning that down. So that's the basic idea of how to create a kick and I hope this like sparks something and uh, kind of just help you a little bit to understand how a kick is created. And I know like there's other ways that you can do it and other things you can do to the kick. But this is just a basic explanation and if you guys have any questions leave them down below or hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, or wherever, and I'll try my best to answer it, but you guys enjoyed or found some use out of this, and thank you guys for watching.